All right, that's looking pretty good. It does look good. Let me add one more. There we go. It's a little off, but it'll work. Okay, let me get one photo for the family. <laughs> family photo? Yes, family photo. Nice group of Kaisers. Yes. Grab our... Uh, Gurus. Grab our Gurus. Gu I can't pronounce it. Gurus. <laughs> or is it Gurai? Gurai. Yeah, let's say Gurai. Check it out, it's guys. Multiple. We're out in the woods. Frankie, deep in the woods. Deep in the wilderness. That some, is our backwoods. Some downed trees here. After some recent storms. Mm -hmm. Lots of trees came down in the storms. We've got our makeshift reviewing area. This is our table. Yeah, a couple of gurus. Mm -hmm. Which one have I got here? You got the flipper. Oh, this is the flipper. Frankie, how many different varieties of gurai do they have? They have four at the moment of this filming. We've got two of them. Essentially, the, the two that you need to know about, okay? Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about them. These are the Cairo Kaiser <laughs> Gurus. <laughs> okay, yes. Designed by Matt Degnan. Matt Degnan, okay. This is not the first Matt Degnan knives that we've seen. Yes, I think. Okay. Yeah, this is the flipper version. And it's awesome. Check uh -huh. it out. Well, and let's go into the story of why he called them the Guru, which okay. is actually a really cool story. I liked it a lot. Yeah, so Matt Degnan is out of California. Mm -hmm. His friend and apparently mentor... Matt Cucciara, which is also one of our favorite designers for Kaiser. Also a custom knife maker. Yes, he designed it after his guru, Matt Cucciara. Right. So it was actually really cool. It was to honor his, his favorite um, guru. Yeah, see if I can focus in on that. There we go. There's Matt Degnan. But, well, speaking... But, yeah. Go ahead. Speaking of Matt Cucciara. Matt Cucciara. Let's go back over here to our Kaiser tree. <laughs> oh, Wouldn't that be cool? We could only have a Kaiser tree. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I think a lot of people would like a Kaiser tree. Now, if you guys have followed us for a while, let's say a little over a year, at the time of this filming, it is August of 2017. Okay, if you followed us since Blade Show of 2016, you'll know about the Kaiser Dukes by Matt Cucciara. All right. Cucciara. I wonder how you're supposed to pronounce it. Oh. We're a big um, mispronunciation type people. Yeah, I guess we are, huh? Where's, <laughs> his, where's his name at? It's not on that one. Yeah, there it is. Cucciara. Dukes Cucciara. Okay. This one was our favorite knife of the show of 2016 that we came home with, okay? The uh -huh. Dukes. How much is this, Frankie? It's like 60 bucks. It is. It's, it's like 60 to 70. It's a flipping beast. It is. Okay? We call it a flipping beast. Yeah, that one, we love it. We love it. 60 bucks. So much. If you haven't got one yet, and check our video out on that one too. And other people have said the same thing. It's, it's awesome. For 60 bucks, so much value. Okay? Um, but that's who we're talking about. And who, yep. and who Degnan is talking about, right? This one, all right, well, okay. Uh, part of the Vanguard series, the Value series. We're talking VG10, we're talking uh, G10. This one, you're going up in price. It's a little bit more, yes. Classification-wise, this one falls under the, um, well, this, one's, this one, yeah, the Bladesmith series. So we got Titanium and S35 VN blade steel. Right. Talking mm -hmm. about blade steels real quick, uh, Frankie. S35 VN fun fact. Yes. Did you know? That there's only two blade steels. Two blade world? steels. Two blade steels in the entire world. There's this VG10, mm -hmm. and then there's the S35 VN. It's the only two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely true fun fact. So S35 VN and VG10 mm -hmm. blade steels done. Yep, that's okay. all there is. And actually. Frankie, I did sharpen one of these. Which ones did I sharpen? Can you tell? Mm, Guys, I think can you I tell? can tell. You got the one with the thumb studs. We'll talk about that. And then the flipper. Guys, can you tell which ones I sharpened? Which one I sharpened? I think I can. Can you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has the factory edge. By the way, they both... Kaiser's come very sharp. Very yeah, sharp. super sharp. Okay. This guy here has the factory edge. Um, you can see it's a little bit coarser, a little bit toothier, as they say. This guy here, approaching mirror status. I brought it out to the 1700, 1800, um, uh, what is it? Um, 
Frankie, I can't think of the term. It's not the mirror. It's the it's the Arkansas stone. Yes. Okay. okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the KME. All right. Didn't quite bring it to the to the mirror status yet. Using he the looks diamond pretty stones. Mirror yeah. Should we get into some of the stats? Yeah, yeah. Starting with sure. the blade. We already talked about S35VN, but yep. how about that blade length? Um, he's right about three inches. A three inch blade. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And he is a sheep's foot, of course. Sheep's foot blade. Which is an awesome, it's, I it's one of my favorite blade shapes. I do love this blade shape. It just is great. It's cool um, looking. No difference flat. on any of them? No, they're all the same blade shape. Mm -hmm. um, he's a flat satin grind. Mm -hmm. Satin grind on this. Made him really easy to sharpen. Yep, really quick, easy job. Just kind of a swooping, easy edge to go at. Mm -hmm. It has a small dedicated finger choil. But Let me look at this. Go guy ahead here. and um, with the flipper, it makes it so it has a little bit more of a finger choil. Oh, how do you because, say? Because it comes down because of the flipper tab. Oh, giving you a little bit more to, uh, Grab to grip onto. into? Uh -huh. Sure, I get that, yeah. So you get a little bit more. So it probably fits your finger a little little bit more than the right. flub thumb stud one. But I like them both so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys that have watched our videos before, you know that I have extra large hands and Frankie how has... How do you do this upside down? This doesn't work. Oh, I can go like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we can... Uh, we can hold, hold our hands, hands together. Yeah, yeah. And then they touched. Um, <laughs> I have the extra large size hands, and Frankie kind of has the small size hands, right? Mm -hmm. This knife overall, I'll just touch on it real quick. It's a little bit small for my hands, yeah. maybe a little bit, but it's definitely a size that I will carry, and, and I do when well, I get the chance. And what we were going to say <laughs> is what we were talking about before we started videoing. Okay. Is that I've been kind of going bigger. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what she said. Yeah. Um, that's what I said. <laughs> okay. um, I've been going bigger lately. and Never a clean video. I know. It's just not. Okay. Instead of smaller. Okay. She used to like the smaller and mini knives, right? Yes. Going larger in, in size knives. Okay. Yes. And I used to like the larger knives, and I'm actually sizing going down smaller. a little bit. Yes. We're kind of kind of finding ourselves somewhere in the middle to exactly. knives, to knives so, this size. We've been... We both fell in love with this knife at Blade Show. Like, mm -hmm. that's what it came down to it. This was actually the very last knife on Sunday knives that we picked up um, from Kaiser. And so we just, we fell in love with it. And we couldn't decide which one. Well, I actually fell in love, which sounded really weird, that I fell in love with the thumb stud one. Mm -hmm. Like, the action just felt amazing. I just, I fell in love with the, the fondability of the thumb stud. Maybe it's just because, like you were saying, we were getting tired of the flipper, and we were mm. just like, I don't know. Maybe the thing is, I can't, the... I can't not have the flipper though. Right. So then we had to get the flipper also to do the video. So we were just like, because mm. the problem is the detent on both is equally excellent. <sighs> it's so great, so great. Okay. So, Listen to this, guys. And, and no, and go ahead and flip this guy. You cannot shake these out. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> at the same time. At the same time. Yeah. No, you can't shake these out. Um, the the detents on Kaisers have gotten better and better. I think the early criticisms from 2016, they had a, a few issues on some of the knives. Kind of a That's, wet noodle feel. <laughs> wet noodle. That's gone. You guys, the detents, they're they're kind of perfect these days. Um, and these are, are some examples of that. Um, the only difference on the other two, I don't think we touched on it yet, um, as in there are four versions of four the versions, Guru. Yes. The, the only difference is they have these same two versions no without hole. the holes, okay? Yes. Um, real quick on weight, should we weigh them? You, you brought your scale out into the woods. Well, who doesn't go on a hike without their scale? Sure. Okay, uh, how, vi how reliable will it be on... On a log. On a log, yeah. Okay, wait, let me change it to ounces. I'll show the people. Turn it this way. Really calibrated. There we go. There we go. It's to perfectly ounces. accurate. Which one do you have? Three point eight seven. This is three point um, eight five. This is the thumb stud. This is the flipper. Three point nine five. Maybe it makes a little bit more sense because yeah. it's got the flipper material. It has a little okay. bit more. Um, okay. They show on, at least on Blade HQ, they show, what do they show, four ounces? Four ounces, yes. Um, and they show it for any of the knives. That is, holes or no holes and flipper or non-flipper. I, th I think that's what we saw. 
so I don't know is there a difference but they're all around four ounces or a little less okay and is what look, we're seeing. 0.43 is the handle is the thickness you guys handle thickness we, we check this so that's a little thinner okay that's a little <laughs> thinner than your average. I don't know why I would measure both. Why would you check both? Okay, we'll see. 0.44. Guys, okay. 0.50 is half inch. That's average. These are a little thinner than average. That carries very well. Okay. There's some centering for you. No blade play or anything like that. These these knives are awesome. They are both doing? have like the fondability factor like crazy. Awesome. This these thumb studs on this this version, I love it. I don't know which one I like better. I'm almost like 51-49 yeah. to the thumb studs. I think it's just because we have so many flippers. I, I think so, exactly. I think that's what it is. I think this, like, the thumb stud is just so fun to flip. The thing is, though, I couldn't not have the flipper. Right. I couldn't not have the flipper. Well, and what I really like about it, too, is that we've talked about it before, like the titanium scales, is that it's like a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. That I would love to get this customized and just get it anodized to make it like a cool color. Mm -hmm. Like with my thumb fingernail polish right now, I would love to have it like this color. Wouldn't oh, that just nice. be yeah. sweet looking? Our buddy uh, Fanatic Edge. Oh, that would be something. so cool. Here, show the um, show the uh, sharpened version. Put that edge out there. Mm -hmm. And actually, grab. Um, is it this? Yeah, grab the slut. Grab the slut. Grab your slut that's in the tree. Oh, no, no, the other one. What's the bigger one? Well, here. What's the bigger this is, slut? This is my favorite Kaiser at the moment. This is the slut. That's got my um, mirror edge on there, you can see. Okay. This is my favorite Kaiser what's at the moment. What's your chunky slut called? John Gray's. Well, that's not the slut at all. I know, but what's your chunky slut? This is the GPB-1. Okay. Here, give me, the, give me this guy here. Just some size comparisons for you there. Okay. But then that's a custom This has job. been customized, speaking of Fanatic Edge. Okay, John Gray, John Gray, um, Matt Degnan, of course. Who else here? Oh, here's a new one. Grab, take the sled out of there. This is Isham Blade Works. That's the Megatherium. Mm -hmm. You can see some size differences. So these are relatively smallish, smallish knives, okay? Megatherium's not exactly a small knife. Um, this is one that we're evaluating lately. Very good knife. Speaking of, if you do a little bit of kitchen work with your pocket knife, there you go. That's a nice blade, yes. Yeah, but these knives, a little bit on the smaller side, and we both love them. Mm -hmm. We both love them. Did we talk about the price of them? Um, what is the price of them? 179 to 182 Depending on your version, very mm -hmm. small variance in price. The holy 179 to 182 Wait, so holy the Holy flipper. flipper is the most expensive? Yes. So this guy represents the most expensive, and yes. not by very much, 182. I think this one's one, 179. 179? I think the thumb stud ones are the cheapest. There's my edge on there, guys. See how shiny? That's not I even the shiniest. I love it so much. Yeah, stop hoarding these, though. I like to hoard my if, knives. If you guys follow Instagram, you know that Frankie takes these to work and just, like, Preps lunch for them with them. I'm, and, an, I'm uh, yeah. a knife hoarder. Yeah, she she is. What else do we got here? Do you guys even know that we own this knife? This is the Ruggiata. That's one of the very first Kaisers I that we got. I think it is the first Kaiser. We've had this for almost two years. I think it is the first Kaiser. Kaiser was barely on the map. There's a knife that's about that's that a prototype. size. prototype. Yeah, is it? Uh-huh. Wow. It doesn't even have a name on it. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, really? That's a prototype. No, it does right there. Ruggiata. Oh, never mind. You're on camera. I've, I've You're on camera twice saying that. Today. We need the um, the KME um, the stone for that to sharpen this one because it's got the recurve. I've lied twice about names on blades today. There you have. This is an awesome liar. knife. This is thumb stud and a flipper. Oh, that's true. That's a cool knife. True. But this is about that size. What else do we have just to get rid of the last knife on the tree? We bought this the one about the same tree. size. The beg letter. That's also got my edge, just to show off some of our Kaisers. A Kaiser collection. But seriously, guys. If you don't have a Kaiser, buy one. You well, won't be disappointed. in general, but get this one, though. The Guru. I know. It's awesome. Pick your flavor. The, um, the flipper or the thumb stud. You really can't go wrong. I love it so much. But we talk about it every year. There's always one blade show knife that we just... 
we, we leave the show thinking like this is this is our best knife and two years in a row it's been a Kaiser well, and we leave like thinking, oh, we thought we would have bought a lot more knives, but then we think back and we're like, we will never get rid of this knife. You know, like it's just one of our favorites and it's just, we leave happy because of it. Mm -hmm. And this is just one of those knives that we just left so happy because of it. We never did get the red one. No, we need to get the red one because we have multiple knives. Oh, bearings, by the way, guys, these yes. are on bearings. Very smooth, very smooth. Well, and there's still talks of them coming out with like a Vanguard version of this. Really? Well, yeah, there has to be more of these knives because there's four. I would there hope so. There needs to be more. Um, <laughs> there needs to be more, yeah. Yes, but then it will be like um, a, a G10, G10 version. G10, yeah. Which might be titanium on the back side, um, but G10. So oh. if it does, then it will be a um, le lesser expensive knife. Use your words. <laughs> um, a more cost-effective cost knife. Wow, you're really stumbling. I know. It's been a long day, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what day is today, anyway? It's, it's Sunday. Sunday. Oh, crap, it's Sunday. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, there's it some good Kaisers. Tomorrow. Two of my favorites right here. John Gray. I love John Gray's knives. Eastern Did you see works. that? Did you, if you guys don't follow him on Instagram, you need to follow John Gray on Instagram. Because What's he got he met now? one of my favorite um, basketball players of all time. He met Charles Barkley. Oh yeah, I did see that. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I was just like, oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Well, we met John Gray at Blade Show. He's awesome. I know. Yeah. This yeah. is this is coming up next though, preview. Look how pretty those guys look He's together. got some awesome designs. Really cool crazy, stuff. Crazy, crazy designs. One of our favorites right here. Only 50 bucks. Yeah. Speaking of good thumb stud knives. You said we were going to do a, a shorter video. Oh, yeah. Well, slightly shorter. Yeah, talk about rambling. You're All a right. rambling man. Let's call it good. <laughs> <laughs> now that song's going to be stuck in my head. All right. That's it from the woods, guys. Thanks a lot for joining us. Hopefully we'll find our way home. Yeah, seriously. I think the car's that way. No, it's that way. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.